Diana is going to bring us a word about stewardship this morning. Thank you. Good morning. How are you guys? Good morning. Um, as you know, this uh, season, stewardship season, we're focusing on God's generosity. And I'd like to tell you my personal story of God's generosity of love and acceptance that I've experienced here at this church. Um, I grew up in a conservative Baptist church. Um, I knew from an early age um, that I was different. Uh, I didn't really know um, how to articulate that, but I knew I was different. Um, At the age of 16, I was uh, found kissing another girl um, by her mother, and the reaction was anything less than joyous. Um, (laughs) It was... uh, Her mother um, gave me the opportunity to tell my parents, and if I didn't tell my parents, she was going to tell them for me. Um, Somehow I managed to get the courage to tell my parents. Um, They didn't really know how to react or what to do, uh, so they called in the pastor of our church. Um, (laughs) The pastor of our church came, uh, picked me up, and and took me off to his um, office so I could uh, completely tell him the entire story. Uh, Once I got done telling my story, um, he looked at me and said, you know, I really don't know how I can help you, um, but I'll figure out a way. Um, He found a counselor, and I went to that counselor, and that counselor basically um, told me that homosexuality was wrong. It was completely against God's will. And the analogy that he used um, was something that stuck in my head. Um, Basically, he said that I was in a river heading toward Lake Lesbian. (laughs) Yeah. Um, And and he he was a tree on the bank of the river, and he was reaching out a branch so that I could grab onto it and never make it to Lake Lesbian. (laughs) That, That made a really big impression on me. Um, and I, I believed it. Um, I believed it so much that when I had a car accident at the age of 17, um, I believed that God was punishing me because I was a lesbian. Um, I went through the rest of high school and college um, believing that even though I had those feelings, that I would never, ever act upon them because that was just going to be my cross to bear, my burden to bear. And quite honestly... Uh, for somebody that, that that young, that is a tremendous burden um, to, to um, shoulder. After I graduated from college, I moved back up here to Phoenix and got involved with the church again, same church that I grew up in. And I was um, really active and involved with the youth group, and it was uh, junior high and high school age uh, kids. And at the time... I was really struggling because I felt like I was living uh, two, two separate lives. Um, I was one person when I was at church doing church functions, uh, and I was somebody else outside of church. And I was really struggling, and I just couldn't believe that God would be a God that would create me in his image and not be able to embrace the fact that I am a lesbian. Um, I finally went to the um, youth pastor of the church and his wife, and mind you, these were people that I had known um, since I was five years old. And I told them, you know, that I was really struggling with this and, and that I really believed that, you know, I was a lesbian and that, you know, that, that was just me, that was just who I was. And I'll never forget, um, we talk about the power of words, um, the first question he asked me, was whether or not I had any of these feelings for any of the girls that were in the youth group. And this was, again, somebody who'd known me since I was five, and I was completely floored. Um, And I just couldn't believe that that would be the first question that they would ask me. And knowing knowing my experience with the senior pastor, um, I decided right then and there, uh, I walked away from church gave everything up and said, I can't, I can't be a part of something that won't accept me as I am. Um, I, and so I walked away for 12 years. Um, about two years ago, uh, a friend of mine introduced me to Miss Millie. Um, 
And Millie invited me to come to her church, and she told me, you know, that her church was different, um, and I was really skeptical. I had a hard time believing her. But I made a promise that I would come and, and try one Sunday out. Um, and it took a lot of courage to walk through those red doors. And I will admit, I was pleasantly surprised that I didn't spontaneously combust on the making it through. Uh, and being the good Baptist person that I am, I slid into the back row and, and on this side and, and just kind of sat. And I, I really don't remember what the sermon was about that day. Um, but what I do remember is the amount of love and acceptance that I felt in this church. And it was a, it's the first time that I've ever felt that in, in a spiritual setting. Um, and I was just, uh, I just remember, uh, I felt the whole time that, uh, that Pastor Steve was just speaking directly to my heart. Um, and as soon as the service was over, I slid out and ran to my truck and uh, uh, I, then the, over the course of the next few months, I came sporadically, and it seemed like each time that I came, um, that God was really um, working in my heart, and he really used each and every one of you here in this congregation, because you guys truly do embrace and embody the whole, um, no matter who you are or where you are on life's journey, you are accepted here, and not only are you accepted, but you are loved, and you are accepted for exactly who you are, so... I am extremely thankful that I um, have a spiritual family in you guys that accepts me for who I am. And one small part of that is the fact that I am a lesbian, as opposed to other churches where that's the defining factor of a person and that keeps them away from being a part of their um, spiritual worship. So this stewardship season, I hope you'll join me in giving generously so that others may know the generosity of God. Uh, please join me in prayer. Holy God, we thank you for the good things in our lives, knowing that all we have and all we ever have comes from you. We rejoice in the opportunity to share your abundance with the church for the service of us.